Hello everyone, I'm Steven Snake Yuka Lindsay, and today I'm going to be telling you how to change your simple character I told you how to create in a previous tutorial into a more advanced character with legs and arms. Now I would still recommend that you have a simple character that you keep in your library, so whenever your character talks to any characters that are say SG related or you just want to feel lazy and you don't want to draw your arms and all that, because occasionally you just won't feel like drawing a whole lot. So, what I usually will always start off with is the legs. Now, I'm going to keep the legs kind of simple, and I'm going to have them only as black. So, the first area you would start off with is the groin uh, area. So, what we're going to do is, of course, ungroup our simple character, and we're going to stretch out this heart and move it up and adjust it as we need to. So, send this to the back, and... That probably looks uh, about right. So what we're going to do for our legs is our legs are circular. And so we're going to stretch them out as we need to till it looks appropriate. Granted, sometimes it doesn't look all that appropriate because just the way it is. But what you need to try your best to do is get something like this where the entire right side is taken off, but there's still some of the inside. So what we're going to do is copy that and bring it down some and adjust it as we need to. So keep adjusting and that uh, if it stays where I want it to. Okay, that probably looks about right. So for our feet, what we're going to use is our semi-circles. So put this in the position and stretch it out as we want to for however big you want your character's feet to be and all that. So as we can see, there's this nice little area back here that doesn't look quite right. So what we're going to use is a black square or whatever square you need for your character's pants and legs and move it in so that it looks like that. So now we have one pair of legs done. We're going to move on to our other one, which is a simple copy and paste. So I'll bring that all to the back. And there we go. So it looks about right. Now for the arms themselves. Uh, it's very similar to the legs. But I'm going to have a character that has this jacket is a sleeveless jacket. And this t-shirt's going to be out some. But as a t-shirt, it's not going to go all the way down on the arms. So... This is going to represent our bare arms. As we have a white background, I can't just have white circles. So what I'm going to do is shrink it and stretch it out as needed, just like I did with the legs. And put this one to position that I want my arms to be in. So uh, that looks about right. So what I'm going to do is work on the t-shirt now. Again, if you had a character that had long sleeves, then you don't have to worry about this process. Just create circles in the shapes of the shirt that you want to have. So what we're going to do is use our masking ability that hopefully you should know how to do by now. So we're going to have this out to whatever position we want. Now, as this is a t-shirt, it's probably going to be a little loose. It all depends on what type of t-shirt you want your character to have. Maybe your character does wear tight t-shirts. So I'm just going to have mine a little baggy. So we have that done, and we're going to copy it, put it over, and we're going to get our red for masking. So put it here to the back, and that should be about right. Now let's see what color was that. It says 57. Is it really 57? Looks a little darker, so maybe it's 43. Yeah, it's 43. So we're going to put this on top of our arm. And there we go. We have our red t-shirt sleeve poking out. So we're going to put this into the position that we want for our left, or is it left arm? Yeah, it's our left arm. So put it like that. And as we still have an arm, 
And it's not going to have a t-shirt on that. Just copy the arm, put it in the position that you want. We're going to have our character with an arm on his waist. And then we're going to have our hands. Now I told you how to do hands in previous ones with fingers and all that. And how I just have my simple hands are just like this. So it looks about right. Of course, you might be complaining about since this is uh, the way we had to do it because of the white background. This looks off, but again, the odds are you're not going to have a completely white background all the time, so you can use white circles instead of white circles with black outlines, unless you happen to like this. So we're just going to simply copy that and flip it over to the other side. So there we go. We have our arms done, and we have our character done. Now, of course, if you had a character that, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, we have a character, and it's completely done right now. So what we're going to do, more or less, right now, is whenever you do save this to your library, uh, I would recommend that you don't have the arms. Why not the arms? Because of one simple fact. If you have people out there who are going to use this character the odds are they're probably going to use the arms to move more than the legs. Because if you're like me, you can probably cheat off with stuff and not even show the legs if you're doing something that's a little bit more advanced. So the way I've done stuff, usually it's more of a requirement for the arms to move a whole lot than the legs. And I think people can easily draw the arms over the legs sometimes. So... That's just a tip for you. You don't necessarily have to do what I just told you to leave the arms off. But for me, it just helps out. And with that, this tutorial comes to an end. Now, at this point in time when I'm recording this audio, I don't know what the next tutorial is going to be about. So as I'm recording this on Thursday, and this is coming out on Monday, uh, hopefully this should have up something right now that's telling you what the next tutorial is going to be about. But if it doesn't, or even if it does, uh, please recommend a tutorial to me because I'm always open to try to teach you something new that maybe at least one of you is interested in learning that surely several other people out there are interested in learning in Strip Generator. So with that said, please remember if you like this video and you want to be up to date on all my other videos, please subscribe to me. I should hopefully be having some other stuff soon that aren't just tutorials. I'm hoping I can figure out something to do with visuals. And if you do like this video, please rate, comment it, like it, tell your friends, whatever. Just please help get it out.